Hi everyone, Adam back with you again with another rehouse video. Today it's going to be Loki, my Syriopagopa species Valhalla. Uh, before I get into that, uh, a couple of updates. Someone in the comments wanted to know how Beyonce the GBB was doing with the webbing in her enclosure. So I'll throw a photo up of that now. She's absolutely webbed the crap out of it so far. Really enjoying the enclosure and doing incredibly well in it. Um, if you hear any purring in the background, uh, I don't have a cat. Uh, a cat has me. I've been adopted by my neighbour's cat, Mr. Stanley Sparkle. He has three legs and it doesn't stop him from bossing me around in the slightest. So he likes to knock my door in the morning, uh, come and use my uh, sofa as a bed for the day to stay out of the cold weather. But he's great company and incredibly cute, so I don't mind too much. Um, with regard to Loki, he's not as cute and cuddly as uh, Mr. Stanley Sparkle down there. Um, our only interaction since the unboxing video I put up 10 months ago was when I had to uh, take him out of the enclosure when I was grabbing a pupated darkling beetle out of there because it was annoying him. Um, the little git fret posed me, bared his fangs and all sorts and was generally light, lightning quick and uh, a bit of a twat. So hopefully today's interaction will go better. Um, I'm trying to get him out of the temporary enclosure. I can never see him in it, the visibility's not good. And I actually want to get some uh, photographs there. Um, the Syriopagopa species Valhalla are an Asian arboreal species from Thailand. Uh, they've got this beautiful black satin and a green emerald carapace and that's basically my two favourite colours so I couldn't resist uh, bagging one up because you don't see them come up too often. They're apparently really hard to breed. Um, so I'm really lucky to have one, um, but hopefully this will go better than I'm expecting it to in my head. So wish me luck and let's get on with it. Okay, so time to get Loki out of the old uh, temporary enclosure into the new one. Um, if you're wondering why I've got tissue paper in the plastic bin, it's because, as I mentioned, uh, Loki's incredibly fast, um, incredibly defensive and uh, highly venomous. So any precaution I'm going to take um, is necessary for my confidence and to safely transfer him. The tissue paper is because if he decides to make a run into the bin, a lot of tarantulas will just find somewhere to uh, hide if they can find a dark corner. So it gives me time to recompose myself and uh, look for him. But let's see how he's doing. Again, I'm saying him, he's unsexed. I just, because he's a bit of a dick, I've assigned male characteristics to him. Um, right, let's see, where are you, Loki? Gonna get your cork bark out for now. Oh, he's dampened down, he's, he's hunkered down in that substrate. So that's probably a good thing. Let me just get rid of that. 
Yeah, it's a little too damp in here in my opinion, but he's been okay. You can get a little bit paranoid when you're keeping things that are moisture dependent, so it's always best to check, so that's on me. Let's see, we'll try the catch cup approach first. If not, I've got something else to try. So let's see if I can get him out. Here we go, come on Loki. Come on mate. Come on big fella. Oh wow, look at you. I don't know if that's coming up very well on camera. I'll just uh, try and zoom in a bit. And it's just popped out there. Right, what I'll do. I'll try and give you a better look when he's captured into the uh, catch cup. So. Come on, mate. Oh, yeah, he's out. See how quick he was? Super fast. But again, don't panic. Just give it a minute. See where he goes. Um, unfortunately, oh, hang on. I might be able to... No, just a little bit now, that's annoying. Yeah, watch your feet, little fella. There we go. Right, okay. Just gonna move this out of the way now and try and get this card underneath him. Right, so Loki's in there. That's the hardest part of the job done, I think. So, let's see if I can just get a bit of this card underneath. Just gently nudge him, because I don't want to hurt him. Well done, there we go. No need to be scared of me. I'm sure I'm much more scared of you, you ferocious little bastard. There we go. That's good. Yeah. Right, so Loki's in the catch cup safely. I'm just going to go and get his next enclosure. Let's see if we can get him in there. Yeah, there's Loki. Give you a little look if... Uh, the camera will pick him up. Right then, let's see if we can get Loki into the new enclosure. Still nicely in the catch cup. He's, uh, he's done the common sort of tie arboreal thing of uh, balling up sort of lengthways. So he's a little bit scared. Um, so I just want to get him as comfortable as possible as quickly as possible so I'll get this done relatively quickly and then I'll try and get some shots because he's starting to look beautiful he's starting to get a bit of that green on the carapace and the legs are going to the jet black colour um, but yeah let's get him in there Gentle, there we go. He doesn't want to move. Oh, the poor thing. Right, I'm gonna to have to try another approach. I have to actually get in there. Don't really want to do this, but see, there is they're 10 times more scared of you than you are of them. I know that's a cliche, but look at this fearsome little beast. Right, against my better judgment, I'm going to try and get him in from the top down and see if he'll go into the cork bark here. Come on, Loki. It's just me. It's just your mate. It's the fucker who feeds you. That's me. You know I love you. Come on. Down into the cork bark. You got new cork bark. How exciting is that? There we go. 
Right. And as ever, final step of the process, making the home Lokis. That's your new house, Loki. Hope you like it. Okay, so that went better than expected. Uh, apologies for the camera angle again. Uh, I'll think about that more uh, next rehousing I do because uh, it needs to be much better than that uh, to make me happy and for you to enjoy the video. I'll throw up a photo of him that I took when he was uh, out in the bath so you can see how he's developing. Uh, now, how Loki behaved was incredibly timid, so that's a really, really good point um, with regard to the temperament of tarantulas. Uh, totally different spider today. Uh, tomorrow he could be back to that uh, defensive mode and that mindset of wanting to bite me for causing any uh, minor annoyance. So always uh, try and assess the behaviour and respect your tarantulas when you're interacting with them and rehousing them. Because, you know, old world venom, you do not want a copper bite from uh, something like uh, a Syriopagopa species Valhalla. And I definitely don't want a copper bite from one, even at that size. So just always assess and move slowly and calmly with the spider. Um, another point I'd like to address, the dampness of that enclosure when I found it was too much. In the winter here in the UK, central heating dries out any kind of moisture in enclosures. So the likelihood is I've got in the day before and over poured my water uh, to try and dampen that soil. It's something I check every day, um, so it's something I would have noted, but still, it's uh, a mistake worth pointing out. Um, when people talk about moisture dependent species, they don't mean they need to be in a swimming pool, they mean damp substrate, nice water dish, just to maintain the uh, humidity level in the enclosure. Don't get obsessed with humidity levels and stick in those cheap uh, gauges on the side of enclosures. Uh, they're inaccurate and you'll just get neurotic and you'll probably make mistakes. Just work on the rule of if a species is moisture dependent, ensure they have layers of damp substrate that will evaporate water through the enclosure. They're, like I said before, they don't need a swimming pool, just the damp substrate. But I always think it's important to point out my mistakes. So if anyone's watching this, uh, they can learn from it and get a bit of information uh, what I've learned. Um, I'm no expert, I'm very new in the hobby still, um, but it's always worth just sharing what you go through and it's the reason I do this because I got a lot of help from watching other YouTube videos of people honestly sharing their experiences. Um, I'll throw the picture up now of Loki after about a year um, you can see the greens coming through on the carapace ever so gently. Um, hopefully in the new enclosure, in the new Arachnus' enclosure, he's going to uh, grow up into that and then probably end up in an even bigger one. I hear they can push around eight inches. So uh, when Loki's that big, uh, probably be a different proposition to deal with. Um, that could be entertaining, so stick around for that. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, apologies again for the quality of the footage. I'll aim to get better quality footage on the next rehouse. Thanks for watching.